right now, boys and girls. We want to introduce... Please allow me to adjust my pants. Woo, woo, woo. Listen to me. Run. Run as fast as you can. I'm gonna give you what you need. Get ready for BAM Radio. Let me do it one more time. Is Radio BAM? Fucking idiot. What the hell am I talking about? It's Radio BAM! And now... And now... Here's BAM! Here's BAM! My brother... Ah, welcome. Oh. Yeah, Bam is married. Yeah. Oh, congratulations. Yeah. Yes, Mr. Bajera. Okay, congratulations. <laughs> Let me tell you, first off, the best thing about the wedding. Uh, all right, Iggy, the, Iggy Pop and the Stooges played. That was awesome. And the sounds. And the sounds played, but uh, Mike Watt, the bass and, player. And McGrath played as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, 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 I, and, I, and if you're a listener who isn't a skateboarder, then you're a fucking moron because... <laughs> It's goddamn basically a legend from Pal Peralta videos, and that's the reason why I'm skating here today. And he's here now, and also, I have shit goose, and I have Carlos who built my ramp. I have this massive ass contraption check, in check. the backyard. Why are you check checking? I don't know, I can't hear myself. <laughs> I have this massive ass ramp in the backyard, and uh, Carlos, basically ex explain the Nargap, which, which Tony Hawk did. The nar the Bridge of Death. Exactly. Uh, Full nose brick coping. It's about 12 foot in distance, and uh, I think every trick in the book's gonna go down over it. No way. Yeah. yeah. I could barely do it fucking backside. I think we all did it on pretty much first you try. You did it frontside. You grinded it. Birdman could Dude, Tony Hawk himself couldn't even frontside grind the thing. <laughs> That's the, I don't get that. <laughs> he gave it away. Maybe he was having a bad day or something. But he didn't do it. I asked. <laughs> did he say why? Yeah, well, well, when Novak. Oh, I forgot. Tell this story too. Novak tries to do it because me and fucking Tony Hawk did it, and we're like, "Fuck yeah, dude!" We both did a second try. Then Carlos does it, and we're all fucking slapping high fives. I'm like, "Novak, go for it, you little pussy, dude! Grab your little tic tac dick and fucking do it." You guys, good cop, bad it. cop, it oh, so bad. Oh, really good cop, bad cop. <laughs> so bad. He drops in, fucking doesn't go fast enough. Jumps off in the very middle. Oh. One foot lands on on one part of the half pipe, and the other foot lands on the grass. And they both went, Shit. and he fucking broke both feet. And he thought that he sprained one ankle. He's like, "Bam, take me to the hospital." I got him in an ambulance. He went to Riddle Hospital, and then uh, I called him up, and I was like, "So, what'd you break? Your did you break it or sprain it?" He goes, "I broke both feet." I'm like, "Get out of here." He's like, "No, I did. Seriously." Shit. He he's not joking. He was in two fucking foot casts for the wedding the day before the fucking wedding, dude. He, wow. he was supposed to get wheelchaired. He was with Amanda, who has Down syndrome, which is Missy's sister. So we're going to have Amanda push him down in a wheelchair. And I'm like, we cannot have a Down syndrome girl pushing some cripple in a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> it's just muff, dude. Let's admit so it. We made a last minute switch. <laughs> you made a what? So we made a last minute switch and we had Natalie pushing her back in the set. I think yeah, I know. Appropriate well, you. why didn't you tell me about that? Well, Natalie was supposed to walk with Mark Hanna and I put Amanda with Novak because I figured he would behave himself most with Amanda because he really likes her and, you know, he kind of has like a soft spot for her. So I figured he'd behave and then at the last minute and we realized that it would look bizarre if Amanda and Novak were going down the aisle and she was pushing him. <coughs> we stuck Natalie with them in the <laughs> well, Why didn't you ask me first? My phone was dead. Miss, yes, uh, your first one, mistake. Was, your phone was dead. Your first was, mistake, was, mistake was thinking that, no, that Novak would behave himself. Yeah. That's no, he, he would behave himself. With Novak Amanda. behaving himself? Oh my God! He broke both of his feet. Therefore, he's a drug addict, and now he gets a prescription <laughs> to uh, Percocets. I think he broke him on purpose. The idiot, the idiot, yeah, exactly, exactly. He goes, he goes, man, I should break both my feet more often. I can take all these pills, and nobody gets mad at me. That's what he said. He took it off the stage, you do. And he meant it, too. I'm telling you, I think he, he did it took, on purpose. He took 20 motherfucking Percocets within 40 hours. What? 20. And he didn't share them with anybody. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of that was going around. That's the biggest problem. <laughs> Name one. Menashe. The general. <laughs> Who's the general? Oh, God. Who's the general? <laughs> Mr. Crawford. <laughs> ah. Yeah, I know some stories. <laughs> oh. hey, but when Novak got, when he got pushed up the aisle, 
Dude, he got the biggest laugh of everything. Because it was all serious. Missy comes, you know, everybody comes walking up the aisle for the wedding. Everybody's, like, all tight. And then all of a sudden, here comes Novak being pushed up. And everybody just broke up laughing, looking at him. And he had this real embarrassed look on his face. He's like, yeah, me again. I yeah, did it. Yeah, yeah he did. <laughs> oh, it was man. funny as hell, dude. You know what sucks? He broke both of his feet, but I bet you the fucking ratings are going to go up just because he broke both of his feet. <laughs> you know what? Honestly... It's true. It's true. It's fucking it's true. Funny. It's funnier if you didn't. MTV even said it themselves. Oh, how stoked are they? They're yeah. like, dude, Just, dude, I know it sucks to say this, but it's so rad that Novak broke both of his feet. <laughs> well, wait, wait, wait. What, 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 uh, what bumper stickers did he have on the side of his wheelchair? <laughs> Nobody knows I'm gay. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty funny. And then, uh, uh... One said the word fuck in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. What the fuck was it? What the fuck was it? Uh... Been there, done that something? No, no, been there, been fuck, there that. fuck that. Yeah, <laughs> okay. And then, and then the other side said, "I'm, I'm just pure gay." So you gotta remember, like these older, older people on both sides of the family come to a wedding. They, they, they expect to be a normal wedding of some sort, and here comes Novak, wheel up the aisle with these bumper stickers stuck to his goddamn wheelchair. All right, okay. And then he proceeds to prop his ass up next to the stage when Iggy's singing. And he's drinking Johnny Walker yeah. right out of a yeah. bottle. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I mean, there's no normalcy to it. He dude. was drinking Johnny Walker. The red, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. Yeah, yeah. I, dude. If, I, if I'm jumping around playing the fucking cowbell live on the sounds on stage while everybody's looking at me, I must have been hammered, dude. I've, I, I've been drunk ever since the wedding. Well, that's not a problem. Is that, that bad, Missy? Well, I'm hoping the vendor ends soon. I mean, it's gonna end sometime. I think like, it's gonna end tomorrow. Because usually Mondays are usually kind of party days. I'm just trying to, um, what, what do you call it? Uh, hair of the dog, you know? Like, I did that, and then right I do there. another, and then another, and the next thing you know, I'm popping Adderalls and shit, and then, and then I'm fucking... <laughs> that's okay. not... That's but eventually, no, no, no. eventually, eventually, you gotta stop. I'm here, I'm here to tell the truth. That's, That's why I'm here. It's one of those nights. It's one of those nights. Oh, I'm, si I'm sick of lying. Oh. I'm telling the truth. Oh, should should we call this? people out tonight? Oh, let's call many people out. Okay. I'm gonna call. My, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna call my uh -oh. mom out. Where Dude, no, no, listen, listen. I'm gonna call my mom out because, dude, okay. Ga there's this guy Gary from Westchester who's my my good friend, and Chuck Trees played with. Him. And if you don't know Chuck Treese, he played with all the Pal Peralta videos back in the day with Tony Hawk. Like, Bad brains. Seriously, <laughs> all that. And uh, and 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 Ape, I, I I made an inside joke. I go, I go Ape Three Chord Gary, like that's his name, like because he plays reggae music, you know. So that's kind of like blim planet, blim blim planet, blim blim planet. You're chill. I'm like you're Three Chord Gary, dude. And, and, and I never said it to his face because I, I thought it would be kind of an insult. So I said it to my mom, jokingly. She goes, next up is Three Chord Gary. Oh. And everybody, I'm like, hey, you fucking idiot. I'm like, you fucking, fucking idiot. Chuck, dude, like, what did, what did Gary think of that, dude? He was, he, he was, pretty, he was pretty tripped out, but he's like, that's my name now. But, you know. Yeah, but, but like, what... I think it probably made him feel a little small to be, you know, that's, three or four people. That's how I, that's what I told Abe. I, I was like, Abe... I said that we're going to give him $1,500 for the wedding, but give him 2000 just because you said that, dude. You <laughs> that was pretty funny. I mean, dude, <laughs> dude, Gary's a man. I love his fucking music, dude, but, but like, reggae music technically is three chords. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Reggae is the shit, but it's three chords. Let's admit it. Let's admit it. You know what I mean? I hear you. <laughs> so, so I said that. <laughs> Dico, so I said that, and, and fucking Ape didn't say it once, he said it twice. I'm like, uh, oh my god, man. I'm like, I, I was talking to Iggy Pop at the time. But Gary, <laughs> Gary's cool as shit, though. Uh, no shit, that's the thing. Like, I love, I, 
I go to fucking reggae night every Wednesday at Spence Cafe where he plays. You know, like, I love it. But it was just an inside joke that I happened to say one time. Now, next thing you know, my mom's fucking calling him the Three Chord Gary right to his face. <laughs> I'm like, fuck, dude. It's fucking horrible. It's terrible. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? Seriously, it's dude. Bad. It sucks. <laughs> and, and then and when I heard it, I was talking to Iggy Pop when that happened. And I, was, I got interrupted seven times by random people asking for pictures. And I'm talking to Iggy Pop, and I'm like, yeah, dude. I saw you at the Cayman Islands with Tony Hawk, we were doing a demo, and I wanted to say hi to you, but I, I had nothing to say, really, except, like, hi, like, I love your work, or whatever. I, I don't want to be that dude, because people do that shit to me, and I hate it. So I was like, I'm not even going to bother him, dude. So I went to Cayman Islands, saw him in the Hyatt, in the lobby bar, didn't say anything. I was telling him about it, I got interrupted seven times. The eighth time, I was like, dude, one more motherfucker, dude, I'm going to... It was at the wedding. Yeah, I know. And this 50-year-old lady comes up, she's like... Hey, Bam, can I get a fu I'm a fuck off, bitch, dude, seriously, fuck off, dude. I can't take it anymore. Just fuck off, seriously, fuck off. <laughs> and then she was, like, mortified, so dude. She didn't know what to do. She was like, all I wanted was a fuck I'm like, fuck off, dude, no more photos. Seriously, security, dude, just stand here. Fuck off, dude, seriously, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I know, because I tried to give you a room key back. After I blew your bathroom apart, and I went, uh... <laughs> wait, wait, what? <laughs> and the security <laughs> guard's like... You don't want no one to talk to him. I was like, fine, then I won't give him his room key. He's like, oh, oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> did you paint the town brown? Oh, dude, oh, man. <laughs> yeah, I did. Tell me what the shit was like. <laughs> it was like a um, chocolate Mississippi mud pie smeared, and it, it, it was like a Rembrandt painting all down through your pipes. And your room was on, like, the 21st floor. I think it, like, smeared all the way down to, like, the 6th or 5th floor. <laughs> Well, well, you know what's even better? When I was running in a panic looking for a place to shit, I went <laughs> in the back in the kitchen of the place. And one of the guys in the kitchen, I don't know who he was, he didn't work back there, but he was like, in the studio, he was like, is that, is that Joan Jett out there? It's just like Joan Jett. And I was like, where? <laughs> and he was like, out, out there. And I was like, yeah, I, actually, yes, it is. And <laughs> he meant the singer of the sound. So I, bought, I was like, well, why not just fucking lie to him? <laughs> so, uh, so, so, somebody there thought Joe and Jen was sick. Well, they, no, that doesn't add up. Dude. Joe and Jen, that bitch is a fucking. She's, she has black hair, man. Mm -hmm. She's a relic. Blondie she's had blonde hair. Yeah, I know. It wasn't even Blondie was playing. I mean, I mean, Maya, man. Oh, speaking of the sounds, Maya, the singer, Missy, you already know. But this is a fucking hilarious story that I need to tell live on air. I don't care. No. Dude, I was I was Frenching the shit out of Maya on the tour bus, and and uh, Jen, my ex girlfriend, comes walking out of the uh, bathroom, catches me so bad Frenching the shit out of Maya. Years ago? Yeah, years ago. Yeah. Obviously. And yeah. And uh, what? Dude, I. <laughs> Deco, I was like, I was like mid tongue, dude. Just look over, and I see Jen just come out of the bed. I'm fucked, dude. I'm going down so hard, <laughs> so bad, man. What and happened? the first time you introduced me to Maya was with that story. I'm like, well, that avoids any awkwardness. Maya just get it out now, on the table and, immediately. And now you're good ass friends with her. I what a Jen I told the truth, dude. Right. Don't tell, tell the truth. Fucking works out a lot of the time. Let's don't feel bad. I just got corrected by G. I feel like shit. <laughs> I'm just Sorry. kidding, buddy. <laughs> what, 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 did, what did Jen do when she saw that? She, um, I, thank God, she actually didn't freak out at me at the time because she knew how much of a spectacle it would be. She uh, kept her calm for about 20 minutes until uh, we went outside, and she freaked out at me. But, but in the tour bus, she kept her cool, and I and I thank her for that. It's a miracle. Wow. It is a miracle. Explain mystery. It is an extreme. <laughs> Well, I gotta say that was the most different wedding I've ever been at in my life. That's like what? A, a rock Tell me about wedding. the vows yeah. that I wrote. Well, the vows. Well, first of all, I was telling well, everybody. Wait, everybody wait. asked me. They were like, "Yeah, what was the ceremony like?" I was like, "It was the best ceremony ever because it was ten minutes." Yeah. At, at the time, me and Conjo, I was walking out to get a drink. But I ripped, I ripped the fucking vows out of the fire, out, Carlos, out of a piece of wood. Uh, Carlos, that, say what happened. Got, Carlos, tell, tell, I, about the vows. Uh, we were down there working, and uh, we started talking about how bikers just destroy pool coping and ruin our park. <laughs> yeah, because I had pool coping on one of the ramps. I'm like, fuck pool coping. Like, it, it always winds up muffed up. He's like, yeah, because bikers come at FTR at fucking 9 in the morning and go shredding an R. I'm like, well, I don't want people shredding my NAR. You know, he's like, <laughs> then he's like, well, we won't have any bikers here. 
So you're riding no bikes on this thing and then go on and finish. It just so happens there was a bike laying around. Next thing you know, it's in the fire. Go ahead. Next thing you know, it's Brand hacked. new bike. Brand new bike. Hacked to pieces. Brand new bike. By swords. <laughs> and then uh, there was the shield that said no bikes and it just... I yeah. guess it was perfect to write that, the vowels on. I wrote the vowels on the fucking coffin that said no bike. <laughs> <laughs> and Jim from Fireball Ministry happened to fucking read it straight from it. <laughs> yeah. Well, Can it get any better uh, than that? of swords. Part. See, I like shit like that. That's awesome. But like, like, Cat from Miami Inc.'s husband uh, did all this LSD one day. Oliver. And now, yeah. And now he goes, I'm only wearing red shoes for the rest of my life. <laughs> Just because he did so much LSD. I saw him wearing the red Vans. Yeah, like, yeah. Red, he only wears red shoes. It could be red Doc Martens, it could be red Vans, doesn't matter, just as long as he's red. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, that's kind of rad, if you, if you ask me, you know? like. And Carlos has a fucking sword in the back of his jacket. And you were Every purple. time I look at him, it could be 6 in the morning, it could be 9 I mean, at night. Just he has a sword in the back of his jacket. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking not appropriate under those conditions. It's, it's like a fucking, samurai sword. It's, it's fucking, fucking hilarious, so, dude. What kind of sword is it, Carlos? Uh, it's a hobbit hole sword. Looks like, uh... He, got, he stole it from the looks hobbit like a, hole. Looks like a crusader sword. <laughs> yeah, <it's> awesome. <laughs> Alright, so let's recap. Somehow this wedding, we had a guy who wears red shoes for 13 years. Exactly. And Carlos that carries a sword in his back at all times. <laughs> and you think this you, is the regular, the front, the regular matrimony the of the ages. <laughs> the way. Security would have a field day with him, man. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, security probably wouldn't Michael let Jackson that security. You know? <laughs> but you know what? McRad played at the wedding, and I need to show my appreciation right now yeah, and yeah. this is McRad and this is the weakness this is serious bam 28 facts public domain <laughs> graphic nature of this check this out program. you need to come check this out man say hello to everyone hello to everyone can I talk yeah what's up everyone I didn't know you were recording this shit <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it it's on it's on the radio channel now nah. yeah Fucking kidding me. You can't say that. I'm sorry. Serious 28 fashion. <laughs> Yo, welcome back to Radio Bam. Jesse Mahir asks. Jesse Tom. Yeah. Tell us what it is, Jesse Tom. What's up, Nico? Yeah. Yo, uh, we got uh, Fireball Jim and Neil Fallon here. We were just rocking out. Neil Fallon's from Clutch and Fireball Jim's from Fireball Ministry, and he just married me and Missy and I. How did three All people three get of us. You yeah. did three, Missy and I. Three people did get married because I'm technically married to Andy McCoy and his wife. <laughs> so that's wow. that's five people. Yeah. It is. That's five. Dude, you think about it. You did a good job, Jim. I must say. Dude. You did a fantastic. Yeah. I'll explain. Job. I'll explain the entire story. I get my door kicked open on my wedding day by Iggy Pop, and then he smashes an acoustic guitar against the wall. Then he jumps in bed with me with the acoustic guitar and lays on it as a pillow. And then he starts talking to me. MTV only wanted 15 minutes worth of footage. We, he sat there for an hour. He's like, I don't feel like leaving. I love this conversation. Yeah. Then he's like, dude, this guy Andy McCoy from Finland. I'm like, Finland, Andy McCoy. He gave me this ring, motherfucker, dude. I was like, he, he gave me this tattoo. Here, right here. <laughs> and he gave me this the North Philly faggot tattoo as well. I did. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. And I was like, dude, I'm good-ass friends with him. Like, he gave me this ring, him and his wife. Like... Technically saying that we're all married together, dude. <laughs> Bam. There's he's, a, he's been on heroin for 17 years. There, there's a pretty good chance that Iggy Pop fell off the wagon at your wedding. You know why? I think I'm responsible. Yeah. Because I said to him, I go, Iggy, the only people that I like who are musicians are either A, drunks, B, heroin addicts, or C, <laughs> crack and cocaine heads, or whatever. Like, Or Nick Oliveri, he's on meth. I love his shit. <laughs> Nick Oliveri is the man. He's better than Queens of the Stone Age. Dude, you know what's the best he part is. about Iggy? He is. Come on. Neil, come on. Have you heard the new Nick Oliveri? I have not. It's fuck it. Dude, I'm going to play it for you. You know what? I'm going to play it on Pop this it damn out. radio show. Hey, Jess? Yes, sir. Where's Dave Bone? Where's Dave Bone? I don't know. <laughs> Gee. Uh, where, hey, man. Where's that Nick Oliveri at? <laughs> Hey, Fuck, we need to find it, dude. Hey, Jess, where's the light? Where's like the light? Like like Ronald Reagan's a fucker. So the reason why Neil Fallon and uh, Fireball Jim and, and Jesse Mahiras are here is because... And Dave Bone. Is because I had a wedding two days ago, and they're all here uh, practicing on their new band, which is fucking awesome. And you did ten songs behind my back. That's, the fun that's a funny story, because it's like... Me, Jim, and uh, it, Jim was like, yeah, you know, my friend Dave and I have been writing songs when we were on that tour, and he's like, 
you should uh, play on some of it. And I, uh, I was like, yeah, well, you know, I'm sure Bam needs some. When did you write stuff. all these motherfucking songs? Well, that's what I'm getting to. So I call up Neil. I'm like, hey, we're writing some like soundtrack shit, and uh, you know, probably like a handful of songs, and you should sing on it. He's like, yeah, that sounds great. And then I just call him back. I'm like. Yeah, we got like six songs, and then like two weeks later, I'm like, yeah, we got like ten or eleven songs. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he's just like, yeah, Neil, I'm Neil, where do you come up with your lyrics, dude? Because I must say, Big News 1 and 2 are goddamn motherfucking brilliant, and Track 9, Animal Farm or something like that is awesome. <laughs> Thank you. That's an old record. I want to know one zero yeah, I just one zero to it one today. one. <laughs> yeah, one zero zero one one zero one zero one. It's what? It's not obvious. It's not obvious. It's not obviously apparent. <laughs> where, where do you come up with the lyrics? Uh, it's, it's all you know. It's an exaggerated lie. It's an imagination story tell. <laughs> right. you, you told me. <laughs> yes, you told you know? me drunk one time. You watched the news all day and you started writing shit. Yeah, around. dude. So you know what's actually good for lyrics too is you put the closed caption on. And the, you watch the words come by, and they mistranslate it all the time. There's great lines in there. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know awesome. exactly what you mean, dude. They fucking miswrite it all the time. Yeah. You got. I mean, sometimes you just gotta fuck get it anywhere. You know? We should <laughs> sue them bitches for not being able to typewrite. <laughs> <laughs> sure. And you know it's hey, a girl. You know it's a girl. Too. Sue everybody. You know it's a girl. Yeah. Oh, sue everybody. Sue I have fucking nine you. lawsuits in the past year. Yeah. Guess what? In the last year, I spent one million dollars in lawsuits. Swear to God. Swear to God. <laughs> Yes. You know what's funny? One it's like you, you win. You win. Just you, just in the last year, not in life. In last. Here's year. the thing. It's like you win most of the lawsuits, but then you get your lawyer's fees, and it's like you didn't win shit because you. No spent shit. Money, Even like, if I fucking win, I still lost because <laughs> I paid the asshole thirty grand to defend myself. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got there, man, man? I have fucking Towers of London from England. Obviously, they're from England if they're called Towers of London. <laughs> they're pretty rad, though. I'm, trying, that, to, I'm that, trying to track down a, a clutch song, but New York didn't download it in time. Oh, they got it. Oh, they have it? They have it. Well, yeah. fucking any of us here, dude. You should play it. This is my favorite clutch song in the world, and you know what? Neil Fallon's right here in this very room, so fuck that shit. Let's hear it. <laughs> Jess, what's this album? This is the first full-length record. This, this is like the first clutch song we ever listened to I know. driving to school. It pumped me up so bad. Dude, this riff gets you... Like, if you don't bob your head right now, then you're a fucking moron. We're, we're in my Cadillac, <laughs> with, and we had the first yeah, clutch record on on cassette. <laughs> Remember cassette? <laughs> so we, do you know how to, you show your age. Do you know how to intro this clutch song? Yo, this is... Great Shining Path of Monster Trucks by Clutch, from Clutch. And then which is the radio Radio show? 28 Faction. <laughs> Pretty good, tall man. And now back to Radio Bam. Dang. On. How the fuck do you say it? Is it serious? <laughs> yeah. On Sirius 28 <laughs> Faction. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That was awesome. Hell yeah. <laughs> Flavor country. Yeah, man, I love that. Dude. The Great <laughs> Shining <laughs> Path of Monsters. Remember that, that Marlboro ad? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Totally. <laughs> dude, serious. Let's do some new intros for the show. <laughs> I know. We should. It's, like, been, it's <laughs> been two and a half years. You can't yeah. say that on TV. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> new ones, man. Great dress. <laughs> dude, I love how Neil... Like he sings about like West Virginia fucking backwoods. Fucking no, dude. The you first. The, I love when you say Susquehanna River. Like the Susquehanna yeah. River. The, like the first dude, line the of that River's song. Rad, if you think about it, dude. It's, it's in Harrisburg. It's like well, I. <laughs> the first line is. That is pretty. Harrisburg. Is I, I wrong. crashed a Cadillac <laughs> through awesome. the gates of hell with a fistful of dollars. <laughs> with like, a fistful of dollars. What? Like that's yeah. Yeah. Like that's the that's the first clutch song I heard, and I was just like. Well, what? some some people don't get it, dude. Like, yeah. dude, I skateboard. I'm not a musician. I just know what kind of music I like, straight up. How? And, and <laughs> shut up. <How? laughs> and, and when I drop in on a fucking half pipe, I want to listen to Great Shining Path of Monster Trucks. <laughs> it pumps me up. It makes me want to try a fucking McTwist. You use that song on your I'm first serious. your You've first skate video. I, and I always did one. What, what's harder for you, McTwist or Invert? The McUnit. McUnit. Oh, I'd like to get my hands the on Mc, your McUnit. The McUnit is front side. The McTwist is back side. He's trying that all day. I almost did it, shit goose, you little shit ass. I almost did it. All I care about is that fucking Jesse Marheras, Neil Fallon, and fucking Fireball Jim, who just who just married us two days ago, and I've been drunk ever since. Uh, is fabulous because they're here at my house, fucking rehearsing in the Hobbit Hole. 
and I just like sitting there listening. And say Dave Bone, <laughs> too, because he's right there. <laughs> Dave Bone is in the house. And, and he Dave wrote Bones most of the songs. Yeah. Did he really? Yeah. Yeah. Dude, yeah. I must say, it, it's, it's fucking like, it's like clutch plus CKY equals fireball. Like, it's fucking just awesome. <laughs> what kind of math <laughs> problem is that? <laughs> Jeff, Jeff, I've busted on you so many times and said you, Mark Hanna is better than you at drumming and shit, but you fucking... When, in the 80s? Yeah, you... <laughs> yeah, yeah, in the 80s. Back in the, back in the uh, foreign objects days, but you kicked ass today, dude. Oh, hey, thanks. Plenty, plenty. Oh, uh, no, fuck it. I, and you know what? If you tell anybody I got emo with you like this, I'm gonna <laughs> emo. <laughs> if you tell anybody, dude, you're There's, going down. We're on a radio. Yeah, you're going program. on a radio. Yeah. Everyone hears yeah. this. Yo, how about Art Web 1987 at the? At yeah, the where, that was awesome. Where was he? There was a newer one. No, remember the lookalike that was so, like more current. Oh, so shit. many fights broke out that I didn't know about. I was like. Wow, Iggy played and the fucking sounds played and, and nobody even got in any fights. Then but, the next uh, day, I'm like, said everybody have fun. It's like, Vito beat the shit out of Kevin. Uh, Kerry beat the shit out of Monado. Dave England beat the shit out of the light fixtures in the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, got, like, it got pretty crazy. And Joe yeah. Jet played and no one's seen her. Except the guy in the kitchen. Yeah, and, and, and then Young Guns kicked in the fucking bathroom doors. <laughs> Where is he? Where is that little son of a bitch? Yo, I don't think it was him though, baby. Dude, I don't care. I, the best thing about the wedding I, was I me. talked to him, and and I don't think it was him. I think it was Dave England, dude. Oh. I believe it. Yo, he he has a split personality. <laughs> baby does. Yeah, that guy's weird. I never yeah, really yeah. talked to him much, and well, he, well, he costed MTV four million dollars for yeah, what? I heard about for that. what? We did a special for Jackass One when it just came out at the Hollywood High School, and. uh this lady was on the podium saying how uh, we hurt random people. And I'm just like, babe, we don't hurt random people. We hurt ourselves. I hurt my buddies. Did you call uh, her babe? Probably. I don't babe, know. Babe, listen. Maybe. I, I might don't have. hurt nobody. All I know is that Look I was sugar tits. <laughs> yeah, I was like, hey, sugar tits, dude. I was like, I'm not going to hurt you. I'm going to hurt my brother. I'm going to hurt... <laughs> I'm gonna, hurt, I'm gonna hurt Fireball Jim. I'm gonna hurt Neil Fallon. I'm not gonna hurt you. Oh, yeah. then, I, I lost my spleen to this guy. Then, yeah, exactly. Then, then this, then Dave England, Darf, his split personality, jumps off the fucking stage onto the podium, knocks this bitch over. Doesn't even hurt her, but just the fact of her falling to the ground. She filed a lawsuit, got four million dollars. Jesus. Straight up. I wish I was her. Straight I know. up. What? Where was I? <laughs> <laughs> she, she didn't even get one scar or scab or anything like. And, but just, on the inside, she did. Just the fact that I was yeah. on the inside. Yeah, yeah exactly. Emotionally. Exactly. That's what everybody says. <laughs> and you know, she can't go near a podium. Well, believe me, <laughs> I've spent a million dollars in the past year on bullshit lawsuits. It, it is such bullshit. <laughs> you know? and, and you know what? If if I hurt myself in the city. Like, if, if I went to the fucking Liberty One building and there was eight stairs and I tried to front side kick flip it and I fucking twisted my ankle, it's my own stupid ass fault. Hey, you wouldn't, I, I wouldn't let you I do that. I wouldn't have, yeah, I know. But I wouldn't have my mom go sue Liberty yeah, One. I know that, yeah. yeah. People do the that. The building just transforms like a <laughs> I'm, I'm like, 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 Dico, it's the building's fault for you trying that trick. I'm like, fuck that. If I twisted my ankle and I had to pay all this money, I'd pay it. With my own money, I'd be like, I'm an idiot. I shouldn't have tried it. I wasn't capable. Oh, yeah. I drank too much, or I wasn't simply <laughs> like good enough to try that trick. <laughs> you know what I mean? What was your favorite part of the wedding? I fa the favorite part of the wedding was... uh reception. Was me... No, no, no. Was, no. was me... <laughs> no, my favorite part was... uh Your wife. Yeah, there's only one right answer. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. 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 Aside, aside from that, like, <laughs> oh. yeah. hi. When, when me and Missy walked out, and uh, and right here in my arms was playing him. Oh yeah, that I saw you loving that. Yeah, that was a kiss. That was that was a good. I think that one. I picked that one. <laughs> and yeah, shot the photos. Exactly the whole group. My favorite part was when I put your key in your door and I had to shit so bad. I was like, please let that green light come on. And it did. I was like, yeah, I was like getting three lemons in Vegas, dude. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> But my second favorite was watching Mike Watt play from fucking Iggy Pop, dude. I've been watching uh, yeah, for yeah. eternity, dude. Everybody's yeah. talking about Mike Watt. It's so I, fucking I, I don't, dude. I don't he know. He plays the bass like I don't know. an inch from the ground while standing up. I, I noticed that. And, and he just looks like I just he's don't know what he's about. with passion from I playing. Like, it's just yeah. He's in the Minuteman. Awesome. Yeah. Something else. Some, some like. See, I don't know about all that shit. I, so awesome. I was too busy liking clutch Any, and whatnot. Anything with Tim O'Connor, dancing with Tim O'Connor. 
was oh, yeah. fucking <laughs> I'm so damn out. funny, man. Tim O'Connor's the man. And I saw, I think, one of your grandmothers dancing, too. I was cracking up on that. Oh, man. Oh, I, uh, no. Yeah. Dude. When Iggy Pop was like, this is a song about <laughs> greed and, <laughs> and, uh, and money. And then he goes, ATM. I called out to the ATM. Lennon <laughs> lost it and grabbed some old guy and was falling down, taking this old guy laughing because ATM to Lennon means ass to mouth. <laughs> and I, before everyone cheered that split second, it was like, it's called ATM. Lennon just, you just hear this scream. I turned around. I was like, I can't fucking believe he just said that. Dude. So. Fucking funny <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Ass to mouth. Ass to mouth. ATM. <laughs> 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 ATM. Awesome. Iggy Pop is the official man, dude. And you know what? I'm stoked that I got him to the wedding because I could call him up right now and be like, yo, I'm coming to Miami with Missy, dude. I'm going to spend two days with it. And you know what? That dude's like, 60. I, I have a bed for you. He's old enough to be our like, dad. Like, that so that's, dude is 60. Like. I can do it with the sounds. I can do it with a lot of He opened of bands. up with a good song. I don't even know the name of the song. I want to be your dog. I remember dog. it from like old skate. Yeah, that's the one, man. What was it called? I, I want to be your dog. dog. Yeah, that's no. a good one. That's like pretty fucking rad. That's a surprise. Dude. I was like, Skullrick's oh, the shit. Because he acts it out. Skullrick. I love how he acts it out. Skullrick. <laughs> Fast, Fast cars. Yeah. Money. <laughs> Hot chicks. Hot, Hot chicks. girls. Money. <laughs> Money. Money. <laughs> <laughs> and he had his shirt off. So He's 60 awesome. years old. I was like, how do you look so skinny at the age of 60? He's like, dude, I do this slow-mo karate-ass Chinese-ass shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 I, I was like, shit. show me how. Is that word for word? What he said? Not word for a word, but he actually goes. I, he goes. I do Chinese ass shit. And I was like, I was like, what the fuck is Chinese ass shit? And he's like, like slow mo karate type stuff. I'm like, and then you look that skinny by doing that. He's like, I do it 40 minutes a day, and that's it. And then, and then I go, and then I was like, dude, I heard, I heard, because he was sitting in my bed for one hour. I was like. I was like, I heard you came in at four in the morning in the lobby bar because my buddy was all hopped up and drunk in the lobby bar. He saw you come walking in from somewhere. Where were we at? And he just goes, ah, ha, ha, ha. Mm. And he just shut up. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, think, I think that's how he's skinny. Either, yeah. either that's yeah. either drugs or a whore. <laughs> what do you think? Sixty, year, 60 years old. Why, still why, doing you drugs it, why are you rolling into a Lowe's hotel been, at four in the morning? Whether it's it's not drugs kitchen. or a whore. Uh, Wawa, Wawa, Wawa is open all night. Yeah. Yeah. Wawa is pretty rad. Wawa is why I'm and thirty I, pounds more now. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is true. It's Yo, so I just true. watched the documentary of the Sacrament, and you were so skinny and handsome. Uh, I'm always handsome. <laughs> you threw yourself away, shit goose. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm suing Wawa. <laughs> you, threw, you threw yourself away. Yeah. Fucking wild. You know, in man. this country, you'd probably win. <laughs> I know. Yeah. You know what? what? You I, I, I can't play, wait. Bro. I can't wait until we finish this radio show just so I can play you the sacrament. To oh, see, I've seen to it. To show not you how skinny ago. and handsome you used to be. <laughs> that was a three. Year, dude, I'm not much heavier than I was during a sacrament. Oh, you, quit fooling no, yourself. No, talk fat about boy. CKY one, dude. Quit fooling yourself. <laughs> CKY1, yeah, you were handsome then too. That was, I still that am was, handsome, dude. That that was was you blow me ago. kisses all the time and tell me how hot I am. Yeah, I used to hear blow that me kisses, now I'm repulsed. <laughs> of course she hears it. She's a foot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Casey, did we get that Fireball song downloaded? <laughs> yeah, Daughter of the Damned, it's a good. Did we one. get that shit? So in Wawa. Yeah. Well, let's have Fireball Jim intro, being he married us. What? What side? I missed it. <laughs> <laughs> Jess just introed it. And then and then yeah. just say Serious Twenty Eight Faction Bam Radio whatever. And then say the name of the song. Serious Twenty Eight Bam Faction whatever. This is Daughter of the Dam. <laughs> yeah. Fireball Ministry. Yeah. Hey Bam's on. Radio Bam. What's our son? What's up? I'm April Margera. Hi, this is Phil Margera, Bam's dad. Call Radio Bam now at eight seven seven Porn Bag. That's 877 porn bag. Why are we doing porn bag? It's easy to remember. That's horrible. That's our son. That's horrible. I guess dial it to call in, but that's horrible. Why don't you read the letter? Oh, no. In faction 28. Every time I go to Jake's bar, I black out. <laughs> and, now, and now you're telling a story. That you're claiming that well, you dude, talked about on the radio, and I don't remember jack shit. Jake's bar is. A I don't remember Jake shit. <laughs> it's a bar in Westchester. It's fifty cent beers all the time, so you just get completely annihilated, and you look down. Fifty cent dress? How can you go wrong? You, you spent eight dollars, oh, and you're just bombed. Oh, you can yeah. spend you yeah. can spend eight bucks, yeah. and you're annihilated. Yeah. yeah. It's great. And Jake's the, bar. The best is hearing like Art and Rake Jan's dad, like, because he went to Westchester University in the fifties, like. 
When I used to go to college, it was a fucking nickel. <laughs> you get shit piece for a dollar, and they pass cheesesteaks through the through the window from across the way. Yeah. <laughs> Is he from Cheese England? Was like a dollar. He's, He's from a- Australia. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He's uh, like you make a complete shit house, and you look down, and you spend sixty cents. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, all right. So, so Jesse, what have I done? What do you mean? What, what did I done? do at Jake's bar? I told this story before. Now, I want to hear it again because I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Uh, uh, we were drinking at 8 a.m. and you were annihilated. You just got off a plane from Hungary or some shit. And, uh, and he was starving. G <laughs> <laughs> uh, made me say it. Anyway, finish. Well, uh, this, this guy with one arm walks in and I'm like just <laughs> thinking to myself like, God, I hope Bam doesn't see this guy because you know he's going to call him out. Sure enough, the guy takes two steps in the bar and Bam turns around and he's like... Whoa, dude, what happened? It's just like, what the fuck? And then uh, I was like, I can't, this is too much reality for me right now. I can't handle this. So I go take a piss, and uh, I, was, I was hoping that when I came out, like, you know, they went their separate ways, but I come out to Bam just wiggling his nub. Like, his, like, this guy came in yeah. with, like, a half of an arm. Oh, my God. Yeah. I, I do remember now. Yeah, dude. It was and I was like, fuck. what the fuck? Most people, like, you know, like, they, they don't want to say anything. They act like they don't see it. I was like, I don't give a fuck. I was like, what happened to your arm, dude? You know, I, I, he's like, oh, well, I fucked it up. I'm like, well, tell me I fucked it up. And I started playing with it and stuff. How did he? Yeah. yeah how did he fuck it up? It was a guys? car accident, he said. Uh, and, uh, I don't remember. I was drunk. He, he, he appreciated that, that someone wasn't <laughs> trying to ignore it, you know, because I'm sure that gets really old. Like, people oh, yeah. are just like, oh, I don't even notice. Like, just, you That's know? why I yeah. call Wee Man Midget. He's not, he's not fooling. He's not fooling anybody. That's the same. I'm like, yo, midget. What if you? What if you number two, midget? It's logic, man. That's mm. fucking logic, dude. Yeah. <laughs> midget logic. <laughs> yo, Dika. Yeah. Oh, dude. Can we talk about what happened to you, please? If, if, if you just want. don't say the name. Let's talk about it right now because yeah, I already called you out. Okay. Just say so and so. I'm not even gonna talk. You're gonna I'm gonna say anything. I, I want you to get pissed off. I, I just want you to say so and so. Say it. You can say it. Say it. Because your parents already asked me not to say anything. Well, fuck my parents. So, so you gotta say it. I said I wouldn't. <laughs> say it, Deco. Inappropriate. <laughs> just say so and so. Well, so and so, some guy came up to my girlfriend and was like, "Some oh, guy, that's uh, perfect." Just said some shit, then she didn't tell me till the next day. Well, I said one thing, then she calmed me down, so I, I was like, I'm not going to do anything at your wedding. And this guy is such a fucking pussy, um, but he's like older. It was just weird. But then he came up later and said to her, for a good fuck, why don't you give me a call? And she was like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> to Deco's girlfriend, Jesse. Y- you know who it was? Do you know who it was? Jess, no. Jess, I'll tell you who it was. No way. Yeah, yeah. Then, uh, so... so. This is like inside joke radio. Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. isn't good, Bob. I don't know why you want me to... <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> keep, keep talking about it. But, yeah. but that's it. Say what happened. Like, no. If I was listening to this, I'd be like, why are they just telling <laughs> secrets? Yeah, but just... <laughs> you know what? Fuck that. He, he's married, and he's telling Deco's girlfriend to, like, if you want a good fuck, give me a call. Yeah. Like, it's muffed up. Yeah, it's pretty fucked. But next talk. That's what the ladies like to hear. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. so anyway, that's an I awesome already, uh, pickup line. I'm you sure. You know what that the best part about it is that if you're like on TV, usually you unlist your address. But people that aren't on TV are perfectly listed. So in, within two minutes, I had his address. Yeah. So yeah. now I'll find his work and I'll just yeah. torture yeah. him for years. <laughs> so it'll be great. Uh, I cannot uh, wait to see you too. Uh, please, I would love to see you. I can't wait to see you. Maybe we can meet up and hang out. Because your Miss- mouth looks like a fucking pussy. Ma- and I'm gonna fuck it so hard and get your fucking mouth pregnant. You fucking disgraceful fucking. <laughs> fucking are, are you gonna pop his tires wasp. or something? No, I'm gonna pop his cherry in his fucking throat. You fucking <laughs> faggot, you fucking dick licking faggot. Welcome to and Hostile Radio. Fucking, and just so you know, you're a fucking Cowboys fan. You fucking human. Pussy How do you know these Cowboys fans? Because I heard him talking about fucking Cowboys earlier. So you, if you hate him so bad, don't you? Well, if he was a Broncos fan, I hate him even more. But <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't even care. He's a fucking pussy. But I'll just have fun with. Well, him at least while. at least Novak's girlfriend fucked Pete Rose behind her, his back. Yeah, but Pete Rose is cool. You, at least you is have he? that. that <laughs> Pete Rose is fucking awesome, dude. Oh, dude! It, most if my girlfriend fucked Pete Rose, I'd be like, dude, you're fucking <laughs> minging, dude. Yeah. The baseball player. Yeah. 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 <laughs> like the yeah that guy. Now see this. <laughs> <laughs> Missy requested the sounds because they played the wedding and they're from Sweden and uh 
the, and uh, Maya, who our friends behind my ex-girlfriend's back. Who also was thought to be Joan Jett. She's pretty hot, there, dude. If you look it on the internet, I bet you'd fucking probably like her. Uh, this song's called Ego, and she devoted it to Missy, so cheers to that shit. Cheers. It's right. Radio Bam's 220 Facts. Cheers. It's Radio Bam. This is Brandon. You know, do that voice you do. I don't fucking do that. This is Radio Bam, Serious 28 Facts. Wow. I'm telling you, Roy Rogers isn't in the grand now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, uh, this band's radio show, you know how it is. Uh, sometimes late at night, band wants to say Who's that? he's married here, yeah. but it's it don't matter, it's unbelievable anyway. His wedding was off the hook. Last night I was playing Call of Duty online. Kids kids scattered throughout the universe were talking about it, saying how Iggy Pop wasn't there and it was fun that shit. But don't matter, it was dope, you should have seen it right there. <laughs> You should have seen it right there. Yeah. Uh, That's right, Peter. Don't you, we got the Lambo out and we drove down to the. We drove to Rex's. And, so, man, and, uh, we had a fire breathing dragon. We had fun. That's like Bill Cosby talking like that. That's what he said. That's what Ty sounds you know, like. Jello pudding pop. Jeff, just fuck forgot, Reagan, he's a fuck Jeff just ass. forgot to like go. Uh, Give the ring or put it on right, so we had to like run back up the steps, and then he pulled like a like a like what's half a 180, a 90 boneless off the steps. Like, <laughs> back there. Yeah, yeah. Up? No, and I was trying to get Bam's glove off. Yo, yeah, yeah, yo, yeah. Mace, yo, Mace. Yo, then Jim. Tony so Hawk awesome. landed at 720. <laughs> 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 he invented the trick 720, and he landed at 720 in Philadelphia. I landed my fucking. <laughs> <head off>. <laughs> <laughs> Keep talking like Mace. Go on. <laughs> if you don't know Fireball Jim, well, you fucking better. But again, Fireball Jim is so incredible that when he talks, especially at Bam's wedding, when he marries people, people's computers get fixed. Jim flew in like at 100 gigabytes, a second. and they were married in less than a terabyte. It was, unbelievable. was it? Was it not unbelievable, Jim? It was unbelievable. Jim Jim wrote a fix the 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 latest Foo Fighters record because their drives crashed. And Dave Grohl, as a as a thank you, just gave him a, Tell us what he did. a triumph. <laughs> oh, yeah. This story just got yeah. way out of control. <laughs> yeah, Jim's just friends with Elijah Wood, Frodo from fucking yeah. Lord, of, Lord of the Rings. He's yeah, just, yeah. He's just friends with him. But dude, didn't Grohl give you that motorcycle yeah, or yeah, some yeah. shit? But never yeah. mind Grohl. I want to hear about Elijah Wood. How did you? How are you friends with his ass? He's just a friend of a friend of ours. How? The shot. Honest to God, I was at my apartment one night, and my friend came to L.A. and was like, oh, do you mind if my friend meets us here? And I was like, no. And then he's like, all right. And then I, you know, whatever. And Where were you at? My house. And the doorbell rang, and so, it was him. Uh, <laughs> it was Elijah Wood. Yeah. <laughs> he just comes on in. Did he, did he invite himself to a beer? <laughs> I think he did. <laughs> Yo, I think he likes beer. Is he a drinker or is he a non-drinker? No, he drinks. He was the king of Mardi Gras. Because Jared Leto doesn't drink anymore. Yeah, Jared, I was looking forward Dude, to seeing Jared Leto at your wedding. There, there was a fight between Elijah and Jared. Yeah. No way. He said yeah. some shit about 30 seconds to Mars and... and Elijah did? Yeah. And yeah, at some Canadian, like, records oh, award show. Yeah. yeah, Elijah. What did he say? Huh? He said he stole Gandalf's stick. <laughs> That's not Perez Hill. What happened to Kingman? Stole that well, stick. He, he Kingman has the bird shit, flu, dude. Really? Bird flu. Yeah. Oh. What about Steve but Never mind that. I want to hear about All Elijah right. Wood. Well, basically, in Blender or something, he, he said some shit about 30 seconds to Mars, and, and then Jared went up to him, and he's like... See, I so, like Jared Leto as a person. Like, he's a cool fucking dude. Whether he wants to drink or not, either way, we <laughs> get along. I fucking like his ass, and I'll fucking stick up for him. Well, he, he goes up to Elijah, and he's like, I heard you don't like my band, and Elijah's like... Uh, yeah, I don't. <laughs> well, no, he was, he was like, where did you hear that? Like, what, what? He's like, what? you said it in Blender Magazine three years ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Elijah was like, really? Yeah. Well. I don't remember. In, yeah. In my eyes, it's like, if, if, if I don't like something, yeah. I, I won't, I won't say that I don't like it. I just simply won't talk about it. For instance, yeah, now, but, now, but, now I'm going to talk against my own words. For instance, Dave Matthews Band. <laughs> he, he sells many, many records. <laughs> Fuck his ass. <laughs> Just, it's fucking terrible, man. It's terrible, terrible music, and people buy the shit out of it, and I don't understand. Yeah, shit, man. Yeah, I, don't, I don't understand. Crazy. And you know what? He could hate me, and he could call me up, whatever. I'll say that, hey, man. I like rock and roll, and you are just simply not rock and roll. I even like Buju Bonton from fucking reggae. 
<laughs> what just happened? Yeah. I, I like reggae music, fucking Capleton and Buju Bantan. And, and, Brainstorming and, and, and I think that yeah. Dave Matthews is, is a shitty, shitty musician, but he sells many, many records. No, he's actually an okay guitar player. It's just... Oh, he's probably great. Yeah. But I just don't like the riffs that he chooses. <laughs> I, you don't have to argue with me. I'm not a Dave Matthews fan. Don't and, then he goes, <laughs> and then he wears a white T-shirt and a pair of jeans. Who cares? I want to see somebody with flair with fucking bracelets and watches and fucking stuff. Next tell. Next tell. Yeah. That, yeah. that means that we should probably go. Give it an outro, Mace. Shit, this shit's like a Christmas show, bitch. It's wrapped up. Later. <laughs> That's Radio Band for this week. We're done. done. Tune in next week for more. You can leave now. It's Radio Band. Radio Band every Monday, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific. Email me now at Radio Band. Why don't you uh, take a picture of your sweet white ass and send it on over to Radio Band at Sirius-Radio.com. Call Radio Band at 877-PORNBAG. That's 877-PORNBAG. Sweet dreams, Peapod. Bye, everybody. See you next week. On Sirius 28 Faction. Later. Whoa.